Welcome, welcome back and I need help at C-Square. In this example, we need to write a two-column proof and then a, a flowchart or a flow proof. And uh, what is given is that the angle A is congruent to the angle C. So I'm going to mark this in the, on the picture. And angles ADB, which is this angle ADB, is congruent to the angle CBD, CBD. And we need to prove that AD is congruent to BC. So for proving that these two segments are congruent, we need first to prove that these two triangle ADC and uh, CBD are congruent. And for that reason, we're going to look to what theorem or postulate we can use. One of these SSS, SAS, ASA or angle, angle side. And if you take a look, we have a common side here, right? So that tells us we're going to use angle, angle, and side because that's the pattern we see here in this picture. So I'm going to start my uh, proof by doing the two columns. And on uh, this column, I'm going to put on the left side statements. and on the right side reasons and i'm going to start to something that is given and i can start to either one the angle a congruent to c or the second one i'm going to start with the first one okay and this is given as i said and the next statement i'm going to put the second given statement angle adb congruent to angle cbd given also and then as I said we have this common side in these two triangles side DB is in both triangles so DB congruent of itself DB this one has a name this property which is called reflexive property and now because we have this uh, angle angle side pattern as I said we can say triangle, and here you need to be careful, you need to be consistent. Let's say you say triangle A, D, B. Then on the second, on second the triangle, you have to have the corresponding letter, so that will be C, B, D. C, B, D. These two triangles are congruent because of the angle, angle side theorem. And then... Now, because these two triangles are congruent, the rest of the parts of the triangles are congruent. And one of the parts is represented by this statement. So now I'm going to say here, AD congruent to BC, which is the final statement. And the reason is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And that's it. This is the uh, two-column proof for this problem uh, you can see the same thing here uh, let me clean the screen uh, and uh, or almost the same thing i'm not so sure if this statement is the same like the previous one and also on the next slide you're going to see how a flowchart or a flow proof looks like there you go and you notice the same strategy these two angles are congruent given then the reflexive property the common sides then angle angle side and the two triangles are congruent and then cpt cpctc and we finish the proof if you enjoyed this clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you